Well, gentlemen, it's obviously seen in context. Uh, some of you will think, uh, how come it's taking so long? But there's been other more important things on the agenda than me signing my contract. Uh, you know, I'm delighted now to put pen to paper on a two-year deal uh, at the football club. Uh, <coughs> there will be a press conference later in the week, maybe at the beginning of next week. Uh, the two the two uh, coaches have agreed terms as well, so they'll be, they'll be signing their contract very, very soon. I think it's a positive thing that uh, we have a good management team. I've been very impressed with the, the two boys since I came here. They're totally committed to the club, so I'm looking forward to, to working with them. So here we go. That's it. Here we go again. <laughs> Any questions? Now? Yeah, Paul, first of all, congratulations on the new contract. Um, how pleased are you to get it all sorted? Well, it has, hasn't been in my thoughts. I'm saying I've had other things on my mind. I'm saying I'm, I'm delighted to be, to, to, be, to be now sorted out. You know, it's been sitting for quite a while, so it's nice to get it. And, sorted. and a two-year contract, is that maybe an indication as to the scale of the challenge you think faces the club in terms of trying to get back up into League One next season and beyond? Well, as you know, we, we, we finished off with a small group of players, so you know, we've got a lot of restructuring to do. Uh, hopefully, I'm very confident that uh, that restructuring will will take place and we'll, we'll kick on very, very quickly. But as I said, you know, it takes, let's take a, a while to get a settled side and we're very hopeful the quicker the better. And with uh, Terry Skibbert and Darren Way looking set to sign new deals as well, how important <coughs> was it for you to have them alongside you next season? Well, they have an insight into the football club who made it easier for me to, to come in and, and get started. You know, they're very committed coaches very dedicated to the cause, good at their jobs. They have been allocated jobs, which we'll discuss when, when, when they always sign their contracts, but they have certain niches, certain things that they, they've been allocated to do, and they, they look, look as if they're going to be great assets to the football club. Obviously one of the big jobs for the summer is recruitment. Any progress on that front? Any news you can bring us? It's a difficult time. We're in, we're in uh, limbo land as far as uh, players, players, agents, players are on holiday. You know, most of them have got their speedos on and uh, are swimming in warm waters. But, uh, you know, we have commitments from a number of players to sign contracts which will be effective from the 1st of July. So I have done a, quite a lot of work uh, in the, behind the scenes. As soon as we're able, to, we will release their names. It's you know it's very difficult to do it because people are still in contract with other football clubs. Uh, and what about some of the players you've offered new contracts to, Kevin Dawson, Sam? Yeah, Foley. that's that's ongoing, but we're getting very close to that now. Uh, Sam's on holiday; he doesn't come back to the first of June. So, you know, we're, we've been in talks with his agent. Things are progressing there, and the uh, boy Dawson's we've been talking to his agent and. That's when a long way forward as well. I'm very confident on on those two. One of the players you've been linked with is David Norris. You've obviously worked with him in the past. Is he the type of player you might want to bring in? Well, Chuck is a great player for me over the, over the piece. Any team he's played, played for, uh, <coughs> I haven't really thought about it, Chuck as far as that's concerned. He lives at the other, the other end. He's a Peterborough boy. And, uh, I'm saying, but uh, no, he's that type of player we we got to bring to the club. You know, committed, totally committed to the cause. Shows great attitude. And what about the players that you've offered severance deals to, Adam Morgan, for example? Any progress on that front? We uh, again, it's uh, that's ongoing. I think there is another there's another press conference very very soon to be had. We are, we are ongoing in discussions with our agents. We're getting very close to to sorting some of these players out. Just a couple more for me, if that's all right. First of all, Chris Wheel, any news on, on no, the situation? No, there's no 
than you spoke from this year. And just finally, pre-season friendlies. Have we got yes. any progress on that front? What I would say is we have we have lined up uh, several very very good friendlies home games, which we are uh, you're looking at my board at this minute, but <laughs> it's unofficial off the record, <laughs> and it basically we cannot we cannot divulge two of them at this minute who do not want to be made public. What I can say is we are going to have a wee tour of Cornwall. Part of the world you know very well, of course. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, so uh, we play Cornwall, uh, we play Truro on the 17th of July, an evening game. And then on the 19th, uh, the Sunday, we, in the afternoon, we play Callington. So we're having three days in sunny Cornwall. I think it's appropriate we have a small tour because we're going to have so many players that don't know each other. <laughs> it's good. It would be nice to get away for, the, for that wee spell. Enable them, you know, to, to get, you know, get tuned in. Thank you, Paul. That's all from me. Can any of the other friendlies be confirmed yet, Paul? Or is it just the Cornwall, Cornwall ones? The Cornwall ones. As soon as I can confirm the rest, uh, you'll be the first to know. But yeah, we are very pleased with the standard of uh, friendly we have at uh, at the park here. Yeah. And obviously you can't name names of the players you're talking to, but can you give us a rough idea of how many are close to signing? Uh, this minute I would say we've got uh, a good half dozen. Okay. A good half dozen. So we're getting there. We, we have a lot of irons in the fire. It's a frustrating time to be a fan. You know, they're busting to hear names and everything else, but again, the legalities of... You know, of, of of football means that we we cannot until obviously the first of July, so that's kind of a, a slight hindrance to us. But uh, it's something that every football club is, uh, has to adhere to. But uh, I can assure the fans that uh, things are going hell for leather in the back. And we have we have a list of names that we have targeted that we are we are going through, and I'm very very pleased with the progress we're making in. Many of the many of the, the players were after. Is that frustrating time for you as well? Because with <laughs> the players all on holiday and yeah, it's frustrating because you talk to an agent, you're desperate to get a deal mm. done. You, you want a deal done. You want to make sure that player's yours. But the problem being is that he's away on holiday. And you can't get him because of, he's over in America or he's in Australia or he's in Malaysia, or somewhere like that where time difference is a problem. And, then you got to find them, and then they, then you got haggle deals, and then he's got to go back to the player again and see if he's happy with that. It's been a lot of that going on, but uh, to be fair, you know, I've been very, very pleased that with the uh, players we have uh, have committed to us. And with Sam Foley and Kevin Dawson, you are pretty confident that they will. As confident as a manager can be before they put the, the signature oh. on a piece of paper. Right. You know, I, so many times I've named players that I thought were signed by. I'd, I'd done it, got the T-shirt, to find out about two days later that the, the that uh, uh, another piece of gold had crossed their palms, and finished up that I missed out on. I think that would be unfair of me to to to, to raise the hopes of of the fans. Okay. They'll be the first people to know when we when we've sealed the deals. It'll be an exciting day, the 1st of July, I can assure you. Seeing when, when we rattle off a few names, <laughs> more than a few names, <laughs> when we rattle off our squad for, for this season coming. Can that day not come quick enough now for you? Um, In some ways? Yeah, of course. I'm saying the, the first, first day's training is the 3rd of July here for, uh, for the, the squad, so... I could do with that being tomorrow, but mm -hmm. it's not. I've got, got plenty of time yet yeah. to wait. It's a bit frustrating, but the more players we can get charged, the more that we get our squad built, built up and ready for, for the challenge. Yeah, the better. I, I've been pleasantly surprised with the response we've had. You know, I did feel that. You know, there's a lot of clubs out there are all going to be chasing the same tails. You know, but to be fair, I'm. Uh, I'm quite happy with the response I've had from the players. Some of them I've had in the past, which makes it a wee bit easier. But uh, you know, we are 
that I, that I know rule. Has your experience then in you know in these divisions helped in attracting players here? Yeah, I would I would think that it's been a benefit in kind. I think you know one or two have played for me in the past, which I think it's quite important as well because if we're gonna if we're gonna hit the deck running, I need a few that know my my thoughts on the game, you know, so that help the blend. You know, the loan system is something that every club's going to use, and that's something we've we've studied very, very, you know, and have an insight into it. And, and it basically, we've kind of, you know, been loads of games trying to decide which ones we would try to attempt to bring to the football club. So, you know, again, that it's a difficult one because, you know, they cannot give you those players until they've had their two weeks pre-season with their clubs so we could be and they're a week behind this you know when coming to the season start so we could be finishing up them coming very late in, into the squad but we'll cross that bridge when it comes and can you use your links with premier league clubs for those low signings you know we have uh, you know terry dan and myself have close links with several premier league teams so we've kind of tapped into them to, to find out, you know, suss the scene. So you know, in the end of the day, the loans are going to be key to any football club in, the, in the Division 2. And I'm pretty confident we're going to bring a decent standard. As I, as I was delighted when I saw some of the standard of the loan players when I first got here. Hopefully, you know, we can bring that type of player. It's, uh, it's as much as I can really say you know, at this minute of time for the fans. I like my, my fans to know exactly what's happening. But as I said, the legalities of everything is, is a hindrance in this day and age. That's it. Yeah. That's done. Yeah. Good luck, Paul. You Thank need you it. Much. It's a hard job. Been a lot of changes. And uh, there's going to be a lot of recruitment and selection. And it's important to get it right. Um, so it doesn't really matter about deadlines as far as I'm concerned that we're now really looking for the next 12 months to, to, to three years to see where we go and uh, the important thing is to stay in the Football League um, before we get any uh, real targets of moving on and upwards. Uh, and I think that what we've experienced in the last 12 months is something that we're not quite used to after uh, 10 years of success plus. You know, and that's behind us and we've got to now uh, move on and make sure we get the right personnel in the place. Paul's got a big job to do. I've got every confidence he can do it. He's been uh, uh, easy to work with and uh, if his knowledge of players and the game is uh, second to none. And uh, he's going to be very useful for this football club in particular working with, as he said, the two the managers of the coach, Terry Skivert and Darren Way, which is going to provide continuity. Um, so, but I make I emphasise it's going to be a really, really tough job because um, it is difficult these days to work within uh, the transfer deadlines, the transfer windows, and uh, the conditions imposed on us by the Football League to do with uh, cost, player cost management. And that's important to remember, and it makes Paul's job that much more difficult. It makes everybody in this club's life much more difficult because you can't afford to make mistakes. And once you've signed players, you've signed them. And as we found today, we're uh, signing off certain players. It is extremely difficult to, in a small club like this, where you've got limited amount of finance to compensate for uh, you know contracts that have to be terminated early. So and we try to do things right. Yes. Mr Chairman, when, when you say it's going to be a really tough job, equally though, presumably it, it could be a, an exciting season? Yeah, yeah. it's a real challenge. Um, you know, that's the, the main no pressure. Uh, well, I've been, been 40 <laughs> years in the game, pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it's always there. And then, as I said, I think we've been uh, two years, fantastic times, and two years where there's been a huge disappointment. And I think the first thing is we've done is... Uh, Try to lose this losing mentality uh, out of the squad. I think uh, the only way you could do that was with uh, with freeing freeing the, the squad. 
we've, we hopefully now will rebalance ourselves and bring some people with attitude and work rate and, and a will to win. Uh, fans, I, I did notice in one of the big banners at the Newcastle game that you don't, you know, they don't always ask to win, but they want people to try. That's the first thing any f football fan deserves with when he pays his money, and that's what they're going to get. We might not be pretty, we might not be the best, but as I said to you, I want I want the fans to to have a rapport with the with the, the team again. Which I think they lost out this season. Good, sir. No, sorry, sorry, Mr. Chairman, I didn't want to interrupt you. That's I right. Tough, tough, but try, just trying to put a positive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see, on that. we are. I mean, see, so far the the management and the director has been extremely positive. We, you know, you get this within football. You get it in any uh, walks of life that you go through a, a very bad period, which we've um, been experiencing. Although you know. So if we've, we're always optimistic and we're working with a very limited uh, number of people and small budgets, etc. We understand that. And as I said to the team this morning, you know, look at the positives and look to where we can get to. We've been there before. You know, who expected this club to get into the championship? And we've done it. We've experienced it. And we've got an experienced manager who's... Um, you know, job is to over the next few months is to uh, plan and organise for the next uh, year, two years. Um, you know, and I've said it before to you guys. Um, I expect Paul to be successful. So, uh, with the back ends of the fans, the fans being need to be realistic. Um, you know, you take Wickham Wanderers who, you know, twelve months ago, were nearly into administration, nearly into the conference. They ended up in the uh, playoffs this se last season, and nearly made it, bar uh, you know the last few seconds of a match against Southend. Uh, that's fo that's the way football goes, and uh, we've got to remain extremely optimistic. We've got a lot more besides the football side. We're planning alongside of it, and hopefully that we're going to be successful this time in in putting forward our plans for this, the the Hewish Park Stadium, and uh, also for the academy. So, you know, we've put into place the things that you need in a football club to support it as a club, not just a one-man, one-team uh, outfit. But Paul's got a very challenging job um, ahead of him. And so far, you know, we've worked well together. Yeah. Um, if he's as good as manager, he's a cook, then uh, we're going to do well. But, you know, <laughs> he's, cooked the, he's cooked the meal already for the, for the directors and... Uh, you know, it's a key staff here, and uh, the spirit is good, very good in the outfit. What I would say is that uh, the trial game that we had, we had 47 professionals, and uh, I thought it was a very successful day. Three of the players have impressed me enough to go into a contract talks with. That's all I'll say. I'll leave people to guess on those three. <laughs> <laughs>